the journey itself is supposed to be very arduous on our heroes. Uh, they're, they're going through uh, completely treacherous terrain and a very treacherous time. And we did pick on purpose, uh, you know, the dead of winter, or let's say we started shooting at the end of, of fall, but the, we knew the journey would take us into the dead of winter. We, we wanted that on film, and we didn't want to have to, you know, quote, magically create it through the magic of cinema. We really wanted it to be real if we could get it, and we would match to it once that happened. And sure enough, um, the, the weather, uh, I guess you could say in a certain kind of way, the weather cooperated because they did throw everything at us. On one day it would be raining, and another day it would be uh, that ice, a little bit of hail, and the next day there would be snow on the ground. It would be slushy. We couldn't get our equipment through. And uh, it made it very trying, but it also gives the film this really great bed of reality because we actually did go through it. For me, it was just no question that he would be right uh, and could be right. Uh, what I loved about his response to the script was, um, you know, for all the work that Nick has done, he's played almost every kind of character, he never has played somebody from this period. Uh, he's never played a knight, never played kind of a warrior like this. And so that was interesting for him. Uh, and I uh, was very, very excited about that. And, you know, he's got a close confidant, a comrade, a best friend, a guy he's gone through the, the, the wars with, uh, if you will. And, uh, and, of course, that guy has his own mythic heroic quality in the sense that he's just a regular guy. I mean, he's hardened and tough uh, and, uh, you know, big in stature, but also big in heart. And, uh, you know, we felt that Ron Perlman was the perfect guy for that. Um, and their chemistry is really terrific uh, on screen.